So now in this video we're going to introduce the inductor to this video series. This is the uh, basic uh, drawing. Sometimes you'll see more uh, loops on there, but uh, that's what an inductor is. It's coil of wires. So this one actually has an iron core, I believe, so the wire is wrapped around a piece of iron. Usually you see a couple bars next to it to indicate that, but I didn't add that. So in any case, this is a 10 millihenry inductor. Inductance is in units Henry, and uh, the, the Henry unit, I should say. So in any case, when I close the switch, we should not see the LED flash, but we might. As you can see there, that was due to switch bounce. I made a connection and kind of lost it briefly. And uh, But in any case, I pressed it. Now current flows through the inductor. It took a little bit of time for the current to start flowing, but uh, faster than we can sense. So um, it's uh, not instant, but it, it's still pretty quick. Now when I release the button, you saw the LED flash. That's because current keeps flowing through the inductor when you cut uh, power. If you don't have another path for it to go, uh, it keeps going through the switch. You get a a, a, a spark because of high voltage. It uh, keeps the current flowing uh, briefly. And uh, that spark can uh, warp the metal or, or uh, vaporize it in some cases if you have a lot of current. That's one reason why we're limiting current. Plus, I don't know the maximum current we can put through the inductor. So in any case, uh, when we release the switch, it's going to keep pressing current uh, in the same direction when you consider positive and negative and uh, the diode, usually use the rectifier diode, gives you a return path there. So that's inductive kickback. You can call it a uh, kickback diode. Sometimes you call that flyback when, you know, different people use different terminology for when the inductor just keeps uh, pushing current and it will raise voltage if need be to do that. But a flyback diode will uh, give that return path. So it doesn't increase current, current goes down, um, but it does keep flowing for a little bit. But in uh, any case, this is just a demonstration circuit. As I said before, you'd use the rectifier. We had some switch bounce there when I was pressing it. So we saw some flashes that bounced off and, and cut uh, current for a little bit briefly. But in any case, it should only flash when I release. But uh, there you can see the problem with uh, switch bounce, which causes a lot of problems in a lot of circuits. And uh, so you may need to address it uh, similar to this. But in any case, that's it for this video. The switch doesn't stay in the board very good. It's working its way out. Um, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. 